gonna do? I'll head to the States. That looks a sore one. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not a... Barry Ward and Simone Kirby play the lead roles in Ken Loach's new movie, Jimmy's Hall. They play Jimmy and Una, two old flames who are drawn together again against a backdrop of upheaval in 1930s Leitrim. I met Barry and Simone and asked them, was working with Loach very different from their usual on-set experiences? Fine work. Mossy's waiting for me. What if I asked you to come with me, Una? Um, yeah, he's quite different. He's, um, you first of all don't get a script. Um, so we were given maybe the first 30 pages at the beginning and then after that you're given a couple of uh, scenes maybe a day or two in advance and that's it. Sometimes you're completely surprised when you're on set. You shoot everything in sequence as well, which means that it's great because you, you a lot of the time you film things and then you go back and you film something that may have happened you know, a few scenes before. But he shoots everything in sequence, which is great. And also, the, the audition process was quite intense, so you, by the time you arrived on set, you were well prepared for anything they were going to throw at you. Come in, Father. You're welcome. Gralton, you come out. It's Mr. Gralton to you, Sheridan. Who in the hell do you think you are? Barry plays Jimmy Gralton, a radical and free thinker who clashed with church and state in repressed 1930s Ireland. However, neither Simone or Barry knew anything about Jimmy before they began work on the film. Nothing. I'd never heard of him. Um, we'd never learned about him in school or anything. I didn't even know a man had been deported from Ireland. I didn't know that it happened. So uh, when, when Ken sort of told us, uh, as, as the audition process went along, we kind of found out a little bit about that it was going to be about a real person. And then when I got off the job, I was Googling him. But I couldn't find out anything about his personal life. Um, only there was, there's, there's very little really known about him. I mean, mm. It's well covered up. Mm. Well, well covered up indeed. I mean, were you, when you found out more about Jimmy and the whole kind of climate at the time, were you, were you appalled and angered about the way things used to be back then? <laughs> no, I wasn't surprised at all because things now weren't radically different either. The same system is in place. Um, but talking to Paul Laverty about it, who, who obviously uh, had to research it for, for the writing of the script, yeah, he, he hit a lot of dead ends and there are uh, missing documents. You know, I mean, if, if someone is kicked out of their own country illegally, whoever kicks them out don't really want people to know about it. You know, it makes sense. <laughs> Jimmy Gralton was indeed a very real person, but Simone's character Una is an invention of scriptwriter Paul Laverty. It was an invention because there is very little known about his life, but they were imagining that a man in his prime would have someone that he was interested in and we spoke to his family and they agreed that there was probably somebody that, that he might have been interested in who was in, interested in him. I mean, he's, he's a real... From what we can read of him, he, he's a really big character and, uh, and even though quite political, brought a lot of spirit and fun with him as well. And I can imagine in a, in a rural Leitrim that must have been very, very attractive. So, we, um, so it's a, a, a good way to see into what might have been a personal life for him. Are you amused or kind of appalled by what some, you know, some people are saying that it's essentially well, footloose set in a, a barn in Leitrim in the 30s. Do you like that the comparison? Well, I, first of all, I haven't heard, I haven't heard that, but, but also this is a true story. So it's whatever people might, comparisons people might make with a 1960s or 70s film. 80s, it's like, yeah. A, was it 80s? 80s, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, um, I'd like... Oh yeah, baby. Um, I, I, I think it's a true story. It really, really happened. So... Uh, for the record, I'd like to lay claim to be the first person to come up with that. I was shooting a film in Newcastle and, and I was auditioning for this at the time. And they were like, and what's it like? And I was explaining it and I said, it kind of sounds like Footloose in Ireland, doesn't it? Without having read the script, all I heard of was dances and church. Come on. Come on, man. Sorry to stop your phone. 